On a normally quiet Sunday morning, the streets of the Honduran capital are filled with marchers, showing their concern about a prime symptom of their country's stubborn poverty. The thousands who've turned out here in a poor section of Tegucigalpa aren't marching for any partisan political cause or any political candidate. They're marching in recognition of one of this country's most intractable social and economic problems, hunger. <laughs> One in every four Honduran children suffers from malnutrition, damaging their minds and their country's progress. What good are marches like this if there's no work in this country? There's just no jobs. They have to create jobs and bring in the international community to create jobs. Poverty and hunger, that's what Manuel Celaya is promising to address after his return from more than a year of forced exile, nearly two years since he was overthrown for what his opponents called his violation of the Constitution. Celaya and all other Latin American governments, led by his allies in Venezuela, Bolivia and Ecuador, condemned it as a coup. Now under a reconciliation accord with Honduras's current president, Porfirio Lobo, Celaya promises he'll peacefully pursue the same leftist political course he followed before his ouster. That was the cause of the coup. To stop discussing the issues of poverty and corruption, the dependence of this economy on the U.S. dollar, the American economy, and our attempt to emancipate this country so it can assume its active role in history. But one of Celaya's own governing party colleagues says the deal is a prescription for tyranny, an agreement leading to a constitutional assembly that could ultimately bring Celaya back to power by repealing the current one-term limit for presidents, though Celaya denies ever seeking the presidency again. They tried to create a constitution to perpetuate Zelaya in power and in that way establish a dictatorship, just like Chavez, Correa and Morales. Now Lobo is acting in the same way and along the same agenda that Zelaya was working on. Yet for the moment, Honduras's fractured political system is in recovery. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Tegucigalpa.